Headaches are a very common condition that most people will experience many times during their lives. The main symptom of a headache is pain in your head or your face. There are several types of headaches, but the tension headaches are the most common. While most headaches aren't dangerous, certain types can be a sign of a serious underlying condition. Hello and welcome to the Spotlight on Food and Health Communications, your number one go-to media source for credible and timely health information. Victor Waberry is my name. Today, the Spotlight is on headache. Before we get into the conversation full-fledged, I would go for a quick break. When I come back, the conversation begins. <music> Welcome back. It's still the program, The Spotlight, and today we're talking about headache. Big question, what is a headache? A headache is a pain in your head or face that's often described as a pressure that's throbbing, constant, sharp, or dull. Headaches can differ greatly in regards to pain type, severity, location, and frequency. Headaches are a very common condition that most people will experience many times during their lives. They are the most common form of pain and a major result, reason rather cited for days missed at work or school as well as visits to healthcare providers. Now, while most headaches are in danger, certain types can be a sign of a more serious condition. What are the types of headaches? There are more than 150 types of headaches. They fall into two main categories, the primary and the secondary headaches. Let's start off with the primary headaches. Dysfunction or overactivity of pain sensitive features in your head causes primary headaches. They are not a symptom of or caused by an underlying medical condition. Some people may, you know, have genes that make them more likely to develop primary headaches. Now, types of primary headaches include attention type headaches, which, you know, most, which is the most common type of headache, to the migraine headaches, to the cluster headaches, and to the new daily persistent headaches. Some primary headaches can be triggered by lifestyle factors or situations including alcohol, particularly red wine alcohol. Number two, certain foods such as processed meats that contains nitrates, that's food triggered headaches, and to consuming nicotine, to changes in sleep or lack of sleep, to poor posture, to physical activities such as exercise, which you know has to do with exertion headaches, to skipped meals, to coughing, sneezing, blowing your nose, straining, you know, such as when having a bowel movement or laughing or crying vigorously, which these others are primary cough headaches. Now, the primary headaches typically aren't dangerous, but they can be very painful and disrupt your day-to-day -day life. Now, let's talk about the secondary headaches. An underlying medical condition causes secondary headaches. They are considered a symptom or sign of a condition. Now, the types of secondary headaches that aren't necessarily dangerous and resolve once the underlying condition is treated include dehydration headache, sinus headaches, medication overuse headaches. Now, the types of secondary headaches that can be a sign of a serious or potentially life-threatening condition include spinal headaches. Now, when we talk about the spinal headaches, spinal headaches are intense headaches that occur when spinal fluid leaks out of the membrane covering your spinal cord, usually after a spinal tap. Most spinal headaches can be treated at home, but prolonged untreated spinal headaches can cause life-threatening complications, including subdural hematoma and seizures. Now, the, the thunderclap headaches is a second type of headaches that can come under this category. And when we talk about a thunderclap headache, it's, it is this kind of, it is very extremely painful headache that comes on suddenly like a clap of thunder. This type of headache reaches its, move, its, its most intense pain within one minute and lasts at least five minutes. While the thunderclap headaches can you know, sometimes be harmless, it's important to seek immediate medical attention. They can be a sign of head injury, they could be a sign of brain bleed, it could be a sign of reversible cerebral vasoconstriction syndrome or a, or a sudden severe rise in blood pressure. Now, what's the difference between a headache and a migraine? 
Now, I need you to know that a migraine is a type of the primary headache disorder. A migraine is a common, you know, neurological condition that causes a variety of symptoms, most notable a throbbing headache on one side of your head. Migraines often get worse with, you know, physical activity, lights, sounds or smells. They usually last at least four hours or even days. So, so when, when you notice that the headache is around the headache you're feeling is around one part of your brain or you're feeling a headache that, that gets intense when you look at lightnings, when you when you hear sounds, or when you perceive certain smells, that's is a migraine headache. Now the big the next question is this who do headaches affect? Yes, who do headaches affect? Anyone can have a headache, including children, adolescents, and adults. And we understand that about 96% of people experience a headache at least once in their lifetime. Yes. And about 40% of people across the world have tension type headaches and about 10% have migraine headaches. Next question. How is a headache treated? Now, the treatment for a headache depends on the type. So I can tell you that you don't just treat all headaches the same way. The way you're going to treat a thunderclap headache is not the same way you're going to treat a migraine headache and not the same way you're going to treat, you know, the primary casual type of headache that comes as a result of stress. Now, so you need to understand that one of the most crucial aspects of treating, you know, primary headaches is figuring out your triggers. Now, learning what those are, you know, we're talking about typically by keeping a head log, a headache log rather, can reduce the number of headaches you have. Once you know your triggers, your healthcare providers can tailor treatments to you. For example, you may get headaches when you're tensed or when you're worried or when you're stressed out, when you're fucked up. So you see, it varies. And then counseling and stress management techniques can help you handle those triggers better. Now, by lowering your stress level, you can avoid stress-induced headaches. Do you understand? So, so this, the, the, the kind of headaches you get varies. It depends on the triggers that you have as a result of what you are actually doing or what is actually causing them. So you don't just treat it the same way. So it depends on the triggers you have. And this is where we call it a wrap in today's episode of the Spotlights. Like on your way next time, please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel on FHC TVB. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, whatever it is, the comment section is all yours. Go ahead and put it down there and we will do well to reach out to you. If you want to have to engage in some health articles and content, we've got that as well on our website at www.foodandhealthcommunications.com. Till I come your way next time, Victor Warbury is my name. Keep staying healthy.